guys so I'm going to talk to you guys about um, something I've been doing in the last couple of days I'm really really enjoying and it's um, using my clipping extensions and um, coming up with different styles because I don't know I just like the look of it I only started um, getting into it like last month and um, really enjoying using it maybe about a week ago and um, in my last two videos I've sported two different hairstyles um, using them and I've had loads of requests from my subscribers to do a tutorial using them so I'm going to show you how I um, installed the clips and um, I'm going to show you how I installed the actual clippings into my hair and then a, a little demo on how to do the fishtail braid that I have used in the last two videos so basically um, it's just I have four wefts of hair. Now this hair is um, Saga Remy. It was a gift from my mum. I didn't buy it so I don't know how much it usually costs but I'll do some research and I'll put some more information in the blog post or in the information bar if you're watching this on my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, it's Saga Remy hair and um, what I did was I purchased the clips. I'll show you the clips now. They're like, I can't remember how much. I think they were like a pack of 10 for a pound 50. Or something and they're literally they are clips so they open and they close so what I've done was I got the weft of hair now this is doubled just because I like mine thick and then I sewed the um, clip onto the track so you could see that it's um sewed on there there and on that side as well so um, because this is sort of like it's not very long I put it on um, each end but if it's like a long weft of hair um, I would put one on the end, the other on the end, and then one in the middle just so that it's more secure when I put it into my um, my own hair. So um, yeah, this is my hair and I'm going to show you how I install the clips. So um, I usually start off with um, a really small piece at the back. Which one's the smallest? Like, yeah, this is the smallest, or the shortest should I say. A short piece at the back and then I go all the way to a really long piece when I get to the crown area or the front area and I'm going to show you how I do that now. Okay so using the right tail comb what I've done is I've sectioned my hair, parted it really like neatly and I'm just going to comb the hair downward and then I'm going to take the clip or the extension and then open the clip and then just bring it in, slide the clip down and then press so it's on see and that's what I'm going to do so all the clippings are in now so my hair looks nice and full and it looks lengthened and now I'm going to show you how I do the um, fishtail braid brush the hair just to make it smooth and allow my hair to blend into it as well and then taking a hairband like this, I'm just going to tie it. About three times. So it's like that. I'm just going to smoothen it out again by brushing it. And then this part is really, really easy. This is the actual braid. So what you do is you um, part the hair into two parts like that. And then smooth through again and then you start by taking a section from one part a really small section and then you bring it to the middle and then you sort of tug on it a bit and then you do the same for the other side bring it on to the middle wait I did that side already sorry the other side and then you tug on it so just repeat this process until you get to the end
much it and I just slide down the hairband all the way down so that I can keep the braid nice and stay put and I just sort of space it out a bit and then ruffle it up a bit to look a bit more natural and that's the fishtail braid so hopefully you guys found this helpful and enjoyable and I will speak to you all very soon bye